Hello everybody, this is Eric 1983 and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. And as you can see, I switched the, the Aeon Summons to short, so there we go. Let's go. We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. You will fight us? The Temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. And yes, it is a duel of aeons. This is why you want your overdrive ga gauges filled up for all your aeons, and this is why you wanted to work on uh, Shivanesian as well. Because it'll make this thing a breeze. Right. Your aeons against mine. So yeah, he summons his version of Ifrit, which is Grothia. I'm gonna summon HC Bailey. Grothia has 8,000 HP. Um, again, you can overkill him, but there's no benefits to it. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just to make these battles go quick. So here you, here's Mega Flare for the first time for you. And yes, I'm aware you have not seen the full animation sequence for uh, AC Bailey's summon, but you will. And yes, as you saw there, HC Bailey, aka Bahamut, is the first Aeon, or first anything really in the game that you acquire that can break the five digit mark, break the 9999 uh, damage barrier. Number two. Next up, he summons his version of uh, Valifor, uh, called Teria. Teria has 12,000 HP, and I'm going to summon Izzy. And yeah, so 12,000, obviously Izzy can't go over 10,000, so just use Thundara to knock him down below 10,000. And then Thor's Hammer. That all you got is Saru. You're worse than Belgamine. Oh, I guess he's not done yet. Who's he gonna summon this time? His version of Bahamut, yes. I guess you will get to see his summon animation. Yes, this is it. His version of Bahamut, Spathy, has 20,000 HP. I cannot let you pass. And obviously, I can't summon him too, so I'm gonna summon Shiva. All right, use Blizzard to knock him down below 10,000. You'll know he's below 10,000 because that's when he, you know, it's below a half HP, so he'll start to show it. And count down, yeah. <laughs> he's counting down to his own Mega Flare. I'm gonna 
have to cast it one more time. Three or four more times, like three or four times with Blazar is good enough, usually. Alright. There we go, Diamond Dust. And as Machen would say, that, as they say, is that. to the surface up ahead. Your pilgrimage is over. There we go. And yes, that one he actually got a AP for, and Gil. You and the others got out, so I guess it's our turn. All right, let's equip uh, Sirik, uh, yeah, uh, preferably with Thunder. Uh, or is it, uh, yeah, Thunder and Stone Protection. Uh, there we go. So now you'll leave that there. Um, and there we go. Hey, it's a chest. Oh, it's a shot. Cool. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Alright, here's two enemies. Well, there's a Sahajin and an Octopus. Uh, try to steal, have Riku steal from the Octopus. Because he tr can steal Dragon Scales from him. Yeah. <laughs> He is armored, so yeah. I'm gonna have to use Spiral Cut to overkill him. Yeah, don't worry about your overdrive, holding your overdrives down here. You won't need them for any boss fights or anything like that, so. Use away, use away. Enemy. I haven't faced, faced these guys in a while. Uh, the Remoras. Yeah. Let's see what I can get from them in terms of a. There we go. Let's take the Sahajans. save walk as overdrive just in case I encounter another octopus. So, there There's one more enemy down here. He looks kind of cool. He looks like a looks like a gold elemental but alive. Um, but yeah again obviously he's weak to something. I don't know. You'd have to see. Uh, but, yeah. Alright let's go. What the? Dead end. Is it? Didn't we kill you already? Yeah, we did, but this is Every Altana, the undead version of him. So, as you might be able to guess, you, know, you, can't, you can't use open locks, but you'll miss out some, on some pretty good treasure, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, just defend with one of them, and just use two Phoenix Downs, is all it takes. He 
does still have his stone uh, attack and all that kind of stuff. That's why I have the stone protection, you know, just in case like, he gets an ambush or something like that, so, yeah. Better be safe than sorry. So is he officially dead now? <laughs> nice. Ooh, I forgot about the other ones. Alrighty, let's go. Actually, you want to dive here, because there's a treasure chest on the bottom. Dive, circle as always. And we got a rematch. It's basically, uh, well, a ball for Waka that has the counter-attack counter ability equipped on it. And I don't think you fight anything else after killing every, so we're good. Just a nice, peaceful swim. Hopefully it's not cold, and we get the Avenger again, another weapon for, well, a weapon for Cyric that has the counter-attack ability on it as well. So yeah, if you were to use the, uh, you know, use the locks during that battle, you'd miss out on that. And you'd end up in that little room there, and then back, you know, you do it again, and you end up in this room, coming up. I don't know why, but I like this part. I mean, uh, th there's no music, it's you know, just water, and it's very relaxing. But anyway, I guess that's all the time I have for this episode, so did we finally make it out? Did Yuna and the others make it out? I guess we'll have to find out next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Thank you for watching.